Hello, welcome to C-Sharp version 6 features, part 4, name of expression, brought to you by Anchor Technologies, my name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn one keyword and one feature of C-Sharp version 6, that is name of expression, and right now we'll understand it. Name of is a new keyword in C-Sharp version 6, and it's very useful from a developer point of view. And in C-Sharp 5, what we are doing, for example, if we need to use uh, the property name, a uh, function name, or a data member name to print a uh, that name as a message then what we are doing we are taking that property name and we are printing it in the console in the double quotes we are hard coding it directly but in the c-sharp version 6 it's completely changed there we'll make use of a keyword called name of to understand it very clearly what we'll do is we'll jump into visual studio and we'll start coding right now what i'll do i'll just create a class called employee Okay, let me create some properties of it, like int id. Okay, string name. Int salary. Okay, done. Now what I'm doing, I'm trying to assign the values like uh, one not one is the id and the language it is. Let me do with the C sharp. The salary is some thousand. Okay, fine. Now what I'll do, I'll just uh, create a class called employee. E equals new employee. E dot. Okay. Now what I have to do is I have to print this ID name and salary. What we are doing is, for example, if uh, I'll make use of placeholders, zero and one. Outside this, we used to call like e dot. I used to do like uh, ID, comma, then employee dot ID. Okay it's similar now what I'll do I'll just do for the rest of the two things okay this is not ID this is name that is employee dot name done and the last one is salary employee dot okay let me change the name here okay now when I run this program obviously it builds successfully and runs with the value like uh, ID is 101 name is uh, Shishap salary is 1000 and you can observe what I'm trying to show you here is I'm having a class called employee I'm having properties ID name and salary and what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to print this property names like I'm hard coding I'm typing them ID name and salary but in the future this employee ID turns to this ID turns to employee ID na the name of the property turns to employee ID first it was ID now it is renamed to employee ID in the future uh, in the future what happens like uh, in the future what happens now when I run this program you can observe here it remains ID itself but why because we did not change the name of it for example if this class is used in multiple projects multiple projects then everywhere we have to go and change this ID to employee ID okay now it's been to employee ID but this is this is not the good practice so what we have to do is instead of hard coding C sharp 6 tells you like make use of this name of keyword what it does this name of key you know, name of uh, uh, keyword is see here the name of expression will return string literal of the name of the property in the sense instead of explicitly hard coding the value here let me make use of the keyword called name of you can observe here how they have done beautifully they have told like name of within the brackets pass the class with the particular property then by itself it will take the property name so what we have to do is we have to come here and instead of uh, doing like this let me remove all these things and instead of doing like this they are telling like let they make use of um, make use of
name of keyword you can observe your name of you have to pass like from which class employee and which object sorry which property you want like employee id now come out of it then pass e dot that employee id similarly i have to do it for rest of them so control c control v control v and your employee id the next property is name okay and next property is salary okay and this is name name and this is salary okay, fine now when i run this program you can observe how beautifully it brings the employee id and the employee name the problem here is i have assigned a comma i have to do with this colon operator okay okay now control f5 you can observe employee id is not one name is c sharp salary is thousand for example now if i turn this id to only the id now you can observe this changed and here also to give it this id now immediately you can observe that name of expression is carrying that property name and we are not hard coding it it's because of this name of keyword it's bringing the value bringing the name of id and printing it here that's what the usage of name of keyword name of keyword you can observe here name of expression will return string literal of the name of the property that's what it's returning here for name of employee id it returns this name name of employee dot name it returns this property name and name of employee dot salary returns this salary that's what we learned in this session and here is the code and here is the code for c sharp 6 which explains you clearly how it works you can observe here like we are using the name of keyword which brings this property names instead of hard coding it okay Th um, that's what we learned in this session and thanks for listening have a great day please subscribe to ang pro training and we are also on facebook you can like our page visiting this url www.facebook.com and pro training and we are also on twitter for further reference you can refer our website and we are on linkedin too and don't forget to give the feedback thank you for listening